Okay guys, so today we're actually going to be changing the wheel assembly bearing on um, BMW 535i X-Drive. Um, it's the F10 models. So of course, first what we need to do is take the wheel out and then once you get to this part and there is the main main bolt that holds the actual uh, axle so you need to take out this main bolt and that's a 17 millimeter socket so it looks guys I already loosened up a little bit but uh, if it's rusted always use some penetrating oil spray it on there let it sit for an hour or two and then uh, get back to it so once you get in this one loosen up get that out of there guys I'll show you how it looks has a spring in it so this is the actual bolt that comes out of it it's always good to put something underneath because when you're spraying some of that spray may drip on your floor so you don't want to have anything uh, oily out there so get something to catch that so once you have the bolt out then you can proceed to removing the other bolt that's holding the actual uh, disc. So this bolt is holding the disc so it's good to remove it at this point. I also got this loosened up so it comes out easily on this video. So once you get that removed that's how it looks guys get that one removed and now we can proceed to removing the actual uh, brakes the, the pads uh, the caliper and uh, then we can remove the, the whole disc it's always a good thing guys to uh, turn the wheel to the right so you have a little more access to get these two bolts removed that holds the whole caliper so just make your job easier so after you take the bolts out this is how they look I use the 1116 socket so after you take that out guys Leave the top screw on, don't take it out completely. You need to remove the actual line that leads to the caliper. So just make sure you remove that out, that way you can easily set it and put it on the side. All right, so the caliper is out. You see, I removed it on both. Clippers actually was holding the line, so I just put it on the side right there. And now you can get the actual disc removed. Be careful, guys, it's heavy. Make sure you don't damage it course we plan on using it again so right now there's your wheel bearing the hub assembly also you're gonna have to remove the ABS sensor that's that other line I'll show you where exactly it goes in the back 
that's right there guys so it's a uh, 10 I think it was 10 millimeter socket right there so you need to get that removed as well and then after you get that removed uh, you'll see to the back um, the whole bearing assembly all right guys so now actually removing the two bolts there in the back you see them right there that's one of them and the other one it's right up there the one on that side and one underneath these are called oh, I got them from AutoZone they're called triple square bit socket and you need a 12 millimeter this is how it looks guys that removes the actual four bolts that hold the bearing the hub wheel assembly all right so I removed the two screws on the left side so this is how they they look like I said is a star socket so there's two one there it's from the other side one underneath and then now there's two on this side you see one there and one on the bottom so first you turn wheel to the left you remove the left side and you turn wheel to the right you move the two right bolts and you should have the hub assembly removed all right so the four bolts are removed and I just wanted to show you guys the grinding noise you see that's why we we're changing it it's really grinding it's really bad I even have a video while driving you'll be able to hear the noise um, but yeah so we're getting getting this one out Alright, so we got it out guys, a little banging with a rubber hammer, and we got it out, that's the old one, it's really, really bad, all rusted, and we have a little rust over here, so I got myself a metal brush and some cleaning uh, spray, I'm going to clean it up a little before, before we put uh, the new one in, so... Stay tuned. All right, so we put the new hub assembly bearing in. There it is, guys. It's new. Tighten up all the bolts. So now, what you gotta be really careful is the axle. Make sure you align it with the inside because now you're gonna have to put this bolt in okay so we put the caliper back on and guys don't forget the line make sure you Install it properly back in the same place like it was before. Make sure everything is tight, really good. The brakes on, so the wheel is uh, now moving, so you can tighten up the main 
main screw that holds uh, the whole axle that needs to be really tight guys so yeah put the brakes on and tighten that up and then after that um, put the wheels and we'll go for testing 